Hello everyone, Huge Odin one here, welcome back. I'm not being loud though. Anyways, as I was saying before I get interrupted, welcome to the Huge Podcast Season 1, Episode 2. Today's podcast, we're going to be talking about how the first week of school went. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Let's start off with Monday by going off on what we do. So on on that day, what I did was I pretty much, we're gonna, what we are going to do is we're going to be using Zoom, which, yeah, we already knew that. On that day, we went to a swimming pool to go swimming, of course, which we had fun before school started. Then when we were done with that, we went to pick up our school laptops. And then when I, well, actually, we already picked up our school laptops. We just got to hook them up to the school so that we could log in, which I think is the dumbest thing ever. Because if someone accidentally signs you out, you got to go all the way back to J&B to sign back in, a.k.a. my high school. Which I don't think it's a very efficient way to sign in. But it's the only way. Then, while while I was there signing in, I discovered that when I went to Google Classroom, which I'm pretty sure most of you know what it is by now. Well, it turns out I have two of the same class in the same period at the same time. Which is pretty weird. Never seen anything like that before. So I'm pretty much saying, hmm, first come, first serve. Mr. Wayne was the first one to show up, so therefore I'm going to go do his class. Because I can't just have two of the same class at the same time. That's just not possible. So then, on the first day of school, I had to get my butt up very early. And what we pretty much did was, because apparently you got to log in at 7.45. Well, well, not log in. You got to be on Google Classroom by 7.45, even though the class starts at 10 something. But because I don't have a first period class, because I'm in 11th grade and I probably have study hall in that period, even though I don't like study hall because it's boring. I'd rather do something rather than nothing. But because I have nothing, my classes don't start until like 11. So when my class... So during first period when I had study hall, let's just say we had unlucky parents. Well, at least one of them was. Because our father decided to get in a plan on the first day of school by screwing up our streams by making his friend dress as bacon and he pretty much photobombed my sister's live zoom call stream and apparently everyone in her class was laughing and everything it was ridiculous I was lucky I wasn't in a class because if it was in a class people would be talking about it And yeah, that was that. Then in second period, when I finally have a class, I freaking go on. I see my welding teacher again. Because I'm an ATEX. I'm pretty sure you all know what that is, I hope. Well, most of you probably don't know what that is until you're like later eighth grade. When you first discovered that's a thing. And yeah. And that's that. Second. The third period where I had business math. It was pretty interesting. I got to meet people. I had to do an all about me project. No, that was, a, that was the other class. Not this class. This class was something different. I forgot it was. And then the final period, fourth period, because we only have four periods in a day for some freaking reason. 
I don't have many core classes at all. But fourth period was world history, which is literally the only core class I have. Even though apparently it's a half a year course now. I wish it was still full year because it makes sense. So then he was the one who signed the All About Me project. And yeah, and then once that day ended on Wednesday was Work Wednesday, where we had to do a bunch of work. Mine took several hours. Like, literally several hours. The All About Me project for me took three hours to finish, which is ridiculous, because I wasn't done until, like, almost three. Because on Wednesdays, we don't do Zoom calls. Instead, they, we do our assignments on those days. And trust me, it's kind of boring. And then on Thursday, um, what did I do Thursday? Oh yeah, we pretty much um, had pizza for lunch on Thursday. which was into between second and third period. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention one thing that happened on Monday during fourth period. See, my sister had no fourth period class, so she said, I'm going to be annoying and try to annoy my siblings. She literally grabbed a Norway, a, a Norway plushie and started putting it in my camera and I was like, oh, for frick's sake, get it out, go away. And I literally told Kara to say, go away, do your own business. And yeah, that's what happened on Monday. And now let's get back to now. Anyways, after Thursday, I pretty much finished the rest of my work and then that day ended. And then on Friday, Friday is when everything got interesting because I decided to put a um, Raven's wallpaper for all my classes and bring out my snake, Benji. Now, during second period, second period didn't really mind too much. During um, th third period, somebody questioned who the snake was. Yeah, there was questions coming about the snakes. The teacher was all freaked out. It's not even that creepy at all, like seriously. I don't, well, at least to me it's not. To you guys, it probably might be. Because not many people like snakes, like our house does. So yeah. But just before period three ended, which also caused my snake to go back inside the um, exhibitation area, aka the place where it stays most of the day, aka the snake tank. What caused her to go in there is because our snake decided to take a dump on the table. Luckily, we had towels, we were prepared for it, but they, she took a dump on the towels, so I had to put her up. When the, when the class ended, I put her up and yeah, and that's that. And then fourth period, things got a little interesting. Because if you don't know already, I am a Baltimore Ravens fan. But it turns out, my history teacher is an Eagles a Philadelphia Eagles fan. And trust me, that's when wars begin. Because we've seen t crazy things happen. And trust me, it wasn't pretty. I was like, he was like, um, talking about how good the Eagles are and everything. I'm like, nope, nope, and nope. And besides, a majority of the class is a Ravens fan anyways, so you pretty much screwed. <laughs> yeah, that ended up Friday. And yeah... This podcast was quite short, actually. 
So if you enjoyed today's podcast, please, if you are on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're on any other platform, follow or do whatever you do or like or whatever you do on the platform you get this podcast from. And I'll see you guys later.